When it comes to autism, um, this is something obviously you've studied an awful lot, and the rate continues to, to, to escalate. Why isn't there a connection mainstream yet? Why are, why are so many doctors just saying, well, we're diagnosing it better? I know, I hate that, and that's, that's such a lame excuse. I was frustrated with that excuse way back when I started looking, when it was going up, but I could see then it was going up alarmingly. Now, of course, it's out of sight. I mean, they, uh, you know, the CDC has come up with a number, 1 in 68. Mm -hmm. That's for 12-year-olds. That, the people don't realize that. That's for kids who are 12 years right. old today. If you say, what is the number for kids that are being born today? You know, I don't know what it is. No one has, has come up with a number. I talked to a woman just recently, a couple of weeks ago, uh, who is a clinician, an, an MD clinician, clinician who treats autistic kids. She says, in her observation, among boys being born today, the rate is one in nine. That's her estimate, one in nine. I mean, that is really scary if she's right. And um, it's funny that we just put up with it, and that's what I find so amazing. And all the money, almost all the money is going into genetics. You know, and I think that's yeah. intentional. It's like we don't want to know what it is in the environment because they don't want to fix it. I mean, it's just like it's too hard to fix it, they, their perception is. But the fact is, I think, that if we would just go back to organic farming, we would find so many benefits, not just in terms of our better health, mm -hmm. but also in terms of the improvement um, in the soil, improvement in the, in, the, in the carbon footprint. I mean, all these things, like that's, that's global warming. I think that the agricultural practices are playing an important role in global warming by allowing too much carbon to get into the atmosphere. So it's really win, win, win to go back to organic farming. And sure, we have to have maybe more resources, more, more people will have to spend time farming. I mean, it's really interesting to me that you sort of switch from an agricultural society to a, an industrial society. And when you do that, you're pretty much switching to chemical-based farming at the same time. And what you're gonna get is cheap food and expensive healthcare, you know? And so we've got it in space. We have the cheapest food in this country and the percentage of their money that people spend on food in this country is by far the lowest over the whole world. And the percentage we spend on health is by far the highest. That is exactly connected. You know, we make ourselves sick with toxic food, and then we spend a lot of money on our health. And we end up not feeling good all the time. And that's really a very bad trade-off, you know? It's not worth it to, to have the cheap food and end up so sick that you can't, can barely stand to stay alive. It's just like crazy that we're willing to put up with that, you know?